Nandile Hazel and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a wig installation as you guys can see. I'm going to be showing you how I installed this very gorgeous unit from Love When Hair. So if you want to see that and if you want to see how I got this wig looking this bomb, then stay tuned. Okay, first, let's get into these goodies. I love the fact that it came in this black velvet bag, which I've never even seen before. I'm used to the silk ones and you know what? It's giving quality. It's giving a girl, we see you. And I always keep these bags whenever I get a chance so this is the wig and this is the 20 inch 13 by 6 wig that I got from love and hair it's a hundred percent virgin hair and girl like girl the best feature on this wig has to be these 4c edges I mean you see that you clearly see that it literally it's so crazy it looks like my hair and I didn't even know that these were a thing until I got this wig from love and hair and listen <laughs> look at the lace what lace this is undetectable swiss lace and i just had to show you guys the goodies that came with the wig because your wig isn't the only thing that's going to be looking fly at the end of this install you are too okay now on to the actual wig install so here i'm just measuring and playing around with the wig just seeing where i should place it where it should sit where my parting should be so that's basically what i was doing here and as i was doing this i actually realized how real those 4c edges are i mean the texture the look it just everything just looks so real and girl i was i was shook okay so i just used my hairspray and i didn't do too much i only did like maybe two layers of spray and then i went in with my blow dryer because i wasn't trying to do too much because you saw how thin that lace is you saw how undetectable and see-through the lace is so i just knew that it was going to melt on me perfectly which it absolutely did so i just pulled the wig a bit and i'm just pressing on that with my comb and you guys it looks like i mean if you look at it properly it actually looks like a blowout you're gonna see it the end what i'm talking about because like i said i've never owned a wig like this before so the entire time i was just like oh, okay wow i didn't know this was possible and those fussy edges aren't the only thing that felt good the hair itself like the texture of the hair itself just felt it's bouncing it's you can see you can clearly see i'm enjoying myself while trying this on and again shout out to love and hair because this just shows how dedicated they are to providing quality and good hair from the 4c edges from making a wig that mimics our natural hair to the actual texture and quality of the hair i mean big ups to that and i like to lay my wig in sections so as you guys you're gonna see just now but i'll either start on the left side or the right side and then i'll make my way up to my center which is basically my forehead one thing that i thought i was actually going to struggle with as soon as i saw this wig was that i thought the baby hairs the 40 hairs were going to be all over my face and my install was going to be a bit messy and all of that stuff and i just thought it was going to be difficult to install which was actually not the case it was very easy to lay um and the baby hairs were very easy to work with which was very impressive in my case And I would actually really recommend this wig to someone who's a beginner, someone who just started doing wig installs, or someone who just doesn't like those um, dramatic or complicated baby hair situations that we usually do. This is the perfect wig for you. Or if you're trying to go for that blowout, leave out type of look, this is the wig for you. So then I proceeded to cutting my wig's lace and please I would recommend that you use smaller scissors not these bulky ones that I have but nonetheless I still had no difficulty cutting the lace of this wig which just shows how easy it is to work with. And as you can see I'm actually cutting in zigzag motions and not in a straight form because I find that when you cut your lace in a straight form you can kind of like the line is very obvious so I feel like cutting it in a zigzag motion kind of makes it melt better. So that's why I was doing what I was doing over here. Now I'm just fixing my parting and making sure that it's nice and straight, nice and neat. And I really enjoyed this parting because I'm not used to um, such a deep 
13 by 6 I usually work with 13 by 4s so I really enjoyed how long and how deep this parting was To make sure that my lace is matching my skin tone as best as it should and laid properly I use instead of using foundation because you know how people will use foundation I like to actually use my contour stick and apply a bit of that to my brush and then I just use that brush and sort of um, blend it out. Once that was done, I just used my melting band that came with the packaging of this hair. I used that to lay um, my edges and just to like lay everything properly. And then I just proceeded to styling my wig. And for this hair, the vision that I had, as I mentioned earlier, that I wanted this to look like a blowout or a leave out. So I just added a bit of layers and I just curled it. And we have come to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.